Capricorn. What is going on? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again with the remix. Yes, indeed, to let you know what your energies, oh. what your energies is around it. <laughs> the month of mid-May 2019, May the 15th through the 31st. What is going on with everybody? Thank you so much for clicking this video. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing this video. Shout out to all my new subscribers again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, you could do so by checking out some of that wonderful information on the about tab but before we go there i want to give a quick shout out to my baby girl Callie. okay my baby Callie sent so much love and just did us a solid two major solids number one she went ahead and um throughout the um, amazon wish list she went on the amazon wish list and she purchased this deck for us so that we will be using this today so Everyone say shout out to Callie. Send some shout out and some love to Callie. Because she got this for us so that we can get our spirit numbers today. And as a special treat, honey, she also purchased the Game of Freaking Thrones reading deck. Okay, so we will be seeing Jon Snow. We will be seeing Arya. We will be seeing my man Samuel Goddamuel. We will be seeing everybody right here even Cersei old ass I mean everybody the hound we want to see everybody so shout out to my baby girl Callie thank you so much Callie for sending us so much love and light and all the support that you've been giving to me in this page and if anyone wants to book a personal private reading only thing you need to do is click that about tab alright there's a hyperlink there that says Scorpion Red Tarot as simply book me again it's Scorpion Red Tarot as simply book me first thing you need to do is book and then link up with me so click that link, select your reading, and then double back to my YouTube page and link up with me. Right under the booking link, you'll see a link that says Instagram. Click that and it'll give you the direct access to my Instagram page. Send me a message after you book your um, reading and link up with me and say, Hey, Rez, this is so-and-so. I booked with you on this and that a date. All right? And we will link up on Instagram at that date and time. If you don't have an Instagram or prefer not to use your Instagram account for your reading, you can use an app called Google Hangouts. It's a simple app to download. Only thing that you need to do is download it and use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And we can connect on there and just send me a message as well. Now, there is an option if you do not want to have a face-to-face -face video. There's an add-on. It's called uh, a recap direct upload. So if you're purchasing your reading and if you want a recap video, you want a full recording of the whole experience and you want a private link to it um, from YouTube then you can go ahead and pay an extra ten dollars and I can uh, record the whole experience so like I said you'll have your own personal copy of the of, of the of the reading if you don't want to get on camera you can purchase that as well and when you link up with me just send me the question of what you want to know pertaining to the reading that you're purchasing okay make sure that you don't tell me the information surrounding why you're asking me the question just only ask me the question and we're gonna see what spirit says and we're gonna rock from there okay so if there's any Anyone that would like to send love and light and also I want to send a big shout out to everyone um especially my baby Amanda who recently you know sent some um love through PayPal thank you so much for every little dollar it counts because it's because of everyone that's been sending love through PayPal is the reason why we got these tea leaf readings that reading that you guys love on the off week so Thank you guys so much for showing all of this love and support to my page. And if you want to um, send love and support, if this video resonates and gave you some type of insight and you just want to send some thanks and some love back, or if it's a particular deck you would like to see be used here, uh, my Amazon wish list and my PayPal information is in the description and in the about tab. All right, let's get into the reading. Father God, thank you so, 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 so very much for bringing us here for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you so much for the divine and light, the blessings and the glories that have been brought into our life in the uh, most recent days. We thank you so much for the insight and the intuition. Thank you so much. We are starting to listen and we're trying to pay attention and make better decisions in our life, Father God. And for a lot of the Capricorns that are already, you know, 
did that transition there over that period and they're in this new stage of life father god we're just you know you know we got our new pair of shoes on you know how you breaking in your shoes and stuff like that to get, get it comfortable fit to you and everything like that so we just kind of breaking ourselves into this new environment god and we thank you so much for the progress that we've made thus far father god continue to move through our life continue to you know just provide us continuous wisdom and just blessings throughout our journey because you know sometimes when we work harder we make a sacrifice sometimes you just you know you know it's just like just some type of recognition that we're doing the right thing just blessing and just signs just showing us that we're on the right path so father god continue to move through our life and give us guidance for the sign of capricorn for may the 15th through the 31st and thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past present and future thank you father god hold on real quick you guys Make sure I touch these cards with some clean, 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 clean hands. <clears throat> All right. So let's see what our spirit number is for sign of Capricorn. Yes, that feels much better. Cleansliness is the next thing to godliness. I was just messing with my hair. I was like, hold on. Give me guidance for my Capricorn. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you. Let's give us that. Oh, environment. All right. Making sure that our environment right now is pure and it's everything that our heart desires. You know, I feel like you guys are really thinking about what your heart really wants, what your heart really desires. And whatever it is your heart really desires, that's what you're doing. You're focused on your parenting. All right. You want a true love partnership, a true love partnership, someone that really understands what you feel and understands what they feel and someone that can communicate it and show them, <laughs> show you what they feel. And right now you're healing. So it's like, right now Capricorn, you're most definitely focusing on having a healthy environment for your kids. Your kids is the most important thing for you right now. And you want a healthy, loving partnership. You know? And healing. So let's dig into this a little bit more. Let's find out what's going on. Environment, parenting, love partnerships, and healing. So, seems like a lot of stuff going on in the home here. It seems like a lot of stuff in the home. And healing seems to be the main. Healing and parenting. And a lot of throat chakra energy. A whole, whole lot of throat chakra energy. More being able to speak than anything. So it seems like you guys are in a situation where maybe you guys might not be able to speak necessarily what it is that you actually feel in regards to your sacral chakra. Especially in a in a in a love and partnership. It's like being able to truly speak and be heard about what you feel and be respected by that person. And being able to vocalize that. The only thing that you really care about right now is your kids and that you're focused on your healing. Saying it and mean it. I don't see any um, root chakra stuff. Here. Mainly just throat chakra. Give me guidance for the Capricorns for mid-May 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much for all your guidance in the past, present, and future. Thank you so much for being present with me. Thank you. Oh, goodness. I know that's right. Slaying that motherfucker dragon. You like, man, I'm tired of this shit. You have to get the fuck out of here. I ain't to 
We said I ain't about to be sitting here keep eating in the bed and nobody. I'm doing okay, Capricorn. What is going on, ba baby? Cappy, what's happening, motherfucker? God damn it! And oh, the one Capricorn that I know, bitch, you bad. This better be you, bitch. I really do hope. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me, man, because I know a lot of times, like, sometimes certain people that I, the one person that's a Capricorn that I know, a lot of the readings don't resonate with that person, but sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. But I'm going to try to tell you right now, this some boss ass shit right now, and I'm hoping that all the, all the Capricorns resonating with this, because like I told you, y'all took. Y'all not playing around. Y'all not playing around. Y'all said, look, motherfucker, I am tired of tired of tired and of being tired. I am fucking tired. You know, I'm tired of this nightmare that I'm living in physically and mentally. Y'all don't woke the fuck up and y'all realize exactly what it is that is plaguing you in your thoughts, in your dreams, in your daily reality. And this is the, you literally taking that sword and waking the fuck up and taking control of your situation and slaying dragons and speaking up and saying, get out of here, bitch. Okay? Now come on and tell me if that ain't some power right there. That's someone facing their fucking demons. Do you see me? Come on. That's backbone. Yes, Lord. Yes, fucking Lord. That is someone waking up from this nightmare and saying enough is a fuck enough. Come on, baby. Listen. Capricorn don't realize that they done sat there and ate it and bed it a fuck motherfucker for too long. You sat there while this person was keeping themselves hung up, acting like they was too weak. They couldn't take care of themselves. They couldn't do shit and da 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 da. And you bust your ass and you slaved and you did everything that you could to try to aid this person and try to help them in this situation because they made it seem like they was such in need they all oh, woe is me and you did and you tired of fucking doing it me and if they continuing to cater to you help you i'm helping you fuck me over no i'm not about to sit there and do that shit like i'm in bed with the motherfucking enemy and shit like that no you don't woke up and said hold on no i don't think so my ship is here okay it's time for me to move forward to another destination and I gotta release some unneeded baggage. I can't carry all this shit on this on this trip with me. So this is someone realizing that yeah, they need to release things that are not of true value with them and only take what they really need that they can fit in one bag and get the fuck on. And that's exactly what they're doing. I'm not about to sit here and keep feeding you and taking care of you and shit like that while you hung up on some other bullshit and you fucking to hell no. It's like I'm giving you that that's like giving someone a goddamn gun to shoot you on your own foot. That's stupid. I'm not gonna do that. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and give you praises and give you acknowledgement and you really legitimately are not doing shit like I'm doing everything. Like I am doing everything. And then you want me to sit here and praise and acknowledge you and uphold you like you some type of king or you some type of queen or like you the best thing since sliced bread. Nigga, the only reason why you the best thing since sliced bread is because I sliced your bread, bitch. I got the goddamn wheat. I tilled it out or did whatever the fuck to make it the goddamn powder. I made the goddamn bread. I cooked it. I sliced it. I buttered it. I fed it to you. So don't run around here and act like you the best thing since sliced bread and someone's supposed to acknowledge you and treat you. I don't listen. I don't know. No. Because no. at the end of the day, what I needed you to do is get, your, get up off your ass and stand up and be a fucking man and be a fucking woman and act like I don't. You're not a child. I don't have to sit here and spoon feed you. Do you want someone to treat you as a fucking king or queen? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Someone woke up and slayed that beast. They realized that they might have been laying in the bed with the motherfucking devil, girl. Listen, laying in the bed with a goddamn devil. Want me to sit up there, aid in the bed, and take care of you while you sit here and treat me like shit? What the fuck you mean? Listen, this is someone no longer acknowledging that bullshit. I don't acknowledge that type of trifling 
behavior in my life. If you want to go out there and you don't love me and you want to be doing whatever the thing, you know, whatever you want to, being a fucking attention whore, you want all this attention from all of these, uh, you know, go do it. Go be celebrated somewhere else. You won't be celebrated here. Because this is someone I feel that, you know, they had a love and commitment, but they were possibly wanting attention and wanting to be celebrated more than what, you know, was being offered to them in their home environment. Looking for attention from several other people and, you know, to go ahead and do what you want to. And, and, and that's even more clarifying that someone that was glorifying options and they thought what they had elsewhere was was better and didn't really appreciate and 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 and, and, and show and treat the person like they really loved them didn't acknowledge them like they really loved them so you know study long study wrong at the end of the day you chose to continue to make the wrong decisions in life Capricorn is not choosing to do it no longer in their life. Capricorn says, I choose me. So I'm acknowledging you. I don't love you. And I'm making sure that I'm choosing the best option. And the best option right now is me. I'm not even interested in none of this bullshit. Because when I picked you, I thought, listen, I was all, it was all glitz and glory. I thought I was getting a nice prize and everything. And didn't even know something else attached itself to me that I didn't even expect nor want. Okay? This is Capricorn. Capricorn will forever have money. Capricorn will forever be balanced. So, you know, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say about Capricorn, but Capricorn will always be good. Now, don't you? Always be good. Always got a coin to spare. And one thing that Capricorn has learned throughout this journey is it, you can't blame other people. You got to change your environment. You got to change your environment and you got to keep your environment balanced based on to what suits your needs and what suits your heart. It's not that you mind giving to people, but they better be able to give back to you in the same. You can't keep giving to beggars. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's all your environment is going to be contaminated with is a whole bunch of leeches and beggars delighted to come to you when you you know because they think that you're always going to have an open hand so be careful of what you keep it in your environment do you understand what i'm saying because you got to focus on your children and not only that this sacral i mean your solar plexi chakra you it means i do you have to show them what it looks like to do the right things in life is the right thing to do in life is to constantly attract people that's always begging 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 and borrowing no those are not the type of people that we want in our life now at the end of the day we do have a generous heart but that ain't all we are you know and you damn sure don't want to be showing your children that it's okay to be suffering in a home environment where you constantly trying to make things right with someone who's giving it to. Where you're having to beg for their attention and beg for their love. That's not what you're trying to show your children. You're trying to show your children a true loving partnership. A loving partnership. You know, this right here is not love. This right here is not love, honey. That is not love. Capricorn know that. And that's why they said, you know what, it's okay. Because I might have made the wrong option before. Listen. I might have made the wrong choice before. Okay. I made the wrong choice before. But I learned my lesson. I'm healing. And I don't care if people like it. Like, I might just have to cut some motherfuckers out. And they just don't. It just is what it is. Because if I'm going to give to someone, it's going to be someone that's giving to me or it's going to be someone that really needed it. And I'm not looking for it back because I did it from my heart. Not someone that's trying to, you know, mm -mm, no, a glorified player. I don't think so. I don't think so. We're not doing that. We shall not do that. We shall not do that. Not around here. Give me some guidance. 
give me some guidance surrounding this hanged man in the nine of swords give me guidance around around the hangman the nine of swords and the two of pentacles in reverse oh it's a commitment has something to do with a commitment mm -hmm. wow time for a change because this person was out in the community because like i said they had to tell me that time to move on because this person want to be community dick community puss let them be this girl want to run around in the street let her be in the street if this man want to be community dick let him be in the community listen to damn time to change because somebody wanted to be out in the community all right oh yeah because this person had lovers yeah we already know that we already knew that. All right, give me guidance about, oh, okay. Expectations. And, okay, so it seems like in regards to them not, not no longer acknowledging this person and no longer expressing the fact that they're not in love. And they're not going to keep making a mistake by choosing them anymore. They want a more balanced relationship. Now they're expecting that. And they're in despair because I feel like they're just waiting for the results of something better. And they're focusing on their job. That's good. Ooh. Might be experiencing some bad health. This official person came out in the reverse. So I want to say that... Um, give me some guidance around this official person, please. Thief. Okay. Okay. So, like I said, in regards to this hangman, there most definitely was a commitment. If it was not an actual marriage, it was like common law marriage. You know, y'all ever had children and y'all live with each other and things of that nature. It was definitely a live-in situation, if not, like I said, a marriage. Um there's a big change someone's moved on someone moved on because someone was in the community it had many lovers you already know that that community called me community dick to me or community puss someone being a little scallywag a little horror slore a horror slore okay that's what that means okay can be had by many and was had by plenty do you understand all right and now Capricorn is expecting greater because they said, you know what? I realize my value now and I am no longer giving to people that don't give to me. But they are in a bout of despair. They're in a bout of despair because I feel like they're waiting. They've been manifesting and they've been trying and wishing and wishing. Wish upon a star. Follow where you are. Been wishing upon the star. Been wishing upon a dream. Okay. And they've been in about a despair because it's just like, listen, I'm working on my healing right now. God, just please send someone to me. Please send someone to me. But at the same time, I feel like Capricorn might be working themselves to death towards the way that they're not realizing that they're not paying attention to their health. And they may be going through a sickness right now. Okay? I feel like some of you guys might need to check your uh, blood pressure yeah, like your blood pressure or something like that. I feel like y'all work so much that by the time you look up to eat, it'd be too late. You don't want half of the day not eating. And then when you eat, you eat bullshit. And you're probably not drinking water. And just like a lot of the shit that you've been doing throughout the years is starting to catch up on you, period. Because you're getting older. And I feel like you're just putting your head down and just like focusing on your work like cramming. And you need to go check yourself in and the doctor. Y'all need to go get your physicals. So, the unofficial person popped out in the reverse. So, to me, I take this as the unofficial person. This is this jackass right here. This attention whore. This person that you're no longer feeding into their 
glorification. Basically, that's what I'm getting. This person... This person, number one, that they don't really, even though they want the attention of the role, they don't know how to step up in the role as the as the official person. And I believe that's what I said up here about the same person. I feel like this person feels like there's a certain level of wealth to this courtship with you. Okay? So, I don't know, like you take care of this person. And I said that before. There's a certain wealth. This person, it like comes off like a like a fat rat when they're in this courtship with you you have to let them drive your car you let them have access to your bank account you buy them things this person doesn't have to work you know <laughs> quite an official person to me but yeah this person feels like there's a certain wealth in regards to this to this courtship and I believe that Capricorn realizes that now and this thief card is in the reverse so in the beginning, I feel like this person kind of manipulated Capricorn where they kind of distracted them with their charms, their good look, and all the while, they were robbing them. They were robbing them. Possibly getting set up by a child or something like that, you know. Might have been a child set up. Oh, keep a nigga baby or something like that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, you do see this person being manipulated by a pretty woman and being robbed by a child that looks like an innocent child it looks like an innocent baby you know what i'm saying so it may be that capricorn feels like there was some type of thief that has something to do with the manipulation of a child or using a child to manipulate someone to kind of you know let a con be had or something like that with with the child and i feel like capricorn is kind of hip on that shit and you're like no nah, you're not about to do that shit to me no more bum you a bum you a bum use a bum use a bum give me some guidance and love i was going to love give me some guidance and love but it's like this person came in capricorn's life and tried to Present yourself as the official person. Didn't act as the official person. Wanted to respect as the official person. But wanted to use the fact that they were, you know, courting them. As a means to kind of get in there. Because they know if they got in there, they were going to be good. While they were still out in the streets. You know, with multiple lovers. But still at home trying to act like, oh, no, we married, we together and all this stuff. I'm the official person, but not actually doing official person shit. And really not. The official person is a protector, is a leader, provider. This person was taken, like, almost robbing you blind. Like, you took a loss with this. You took a loss with this connection. You see what I'm saying? You took a loss. Like, you were taking care of this person like they were your child, almost. You see what I'm saying? Try this was someone which you you might have already had or already set and made family this was someone that you allowed into your tribe and now you feel like you're stuck with them so there probably was a child that was had in this connection there was a child that was had in this connection because it, i mean you do feel like you're stuck with this person because of this child what does it say compromise you're not willing to compromise with this person anymore you're not willing to be as easily manipulated. And listen, you're not giving them no more money. You're not compromising with them and you're not taking care of them no more. You're not giving them no more money, which was set up there earlier. You're not doing it. You're focused on your tribe, honey. Come on, Cap. And it's summer, like, yeah, okay, all right, all right. And I just, I feel like this person feels like, Oh, let me get the let me get the baby or let me get the baby for the summer. This, this, and that, and they think that they're gonna get money from you as long as they have the child. So this person might possibly be trying to step up and act like they want to be a good mother or a good father and all of the stuff like that, with means of kind of like robbing your bank dry this summer and stuff like that. Like, oh, come on, we gotta compromise, we gotta co purge, you gotta let me see my child, and uh, I really do feel like this this person. Because they're on the outside of this tribe now. And I feel like 
you're stuck with them. You're stuck with them, but I feel like for some reason, even though they're on the outside of the tribe, you're stuck with them and you still have to kind of compromise with them in some type of way. And it's like, I'm not willing to compromise in regards to my sanity and my children. So no, you're not about to get my children this motherfucker summer. And no, because you think that, oh, if, if my kid, if you got the child, that I got to give you money. Because no, because you're a whole grown ass man. And if you're an official person, bitch, you don't need no money from me. And you're not getting no money anyway. Plus, my, my child is going in camp. So, sorry. Won't be no compromise on this one. Sorry. No, like this person is like a thief. Like this person just want to get in your pocket. And I don't really even think that the person has the best interest of the child. They just want your money. This is a low vibrational person. Low vibrational person. But you've ascended into your divine feminine energy. You know that you're way worth more than that. You know this person is a low vibe piece of bullshit. That's why you're not offering nothing to this person no more. Okay, yes. You're not on this end. You've realized that you were and are the divine feminine. You always were. I just feel like you were operationing. You were operating on the low vibe because of the people that you were surrounding yourself with. And they pulled you down into their goddamn level of bullshit. But now that you are able to experience and understand things on a whole totally different universe, on a, on a like five dimension, not like a, just a 3D dimension, not just what we can touch, feel, and taste. You know what I'm saying? You understand the true divine meaning to things now. And now it's just like... This person is just this person is just not on your level. Y'all don't vibrate on the same frequency. So it's like it's completely pointless to try to offer anything to this person because you want someone to completely get you on a CD level. And again, I just I want to point out again that bad health card. I really need y'all to go to the doctor and check out your health. Okay. Give me guidance for my cappies. Cappy, cappy. Ooh. Capricorn, what's going on, baby? Let's see. Capricorn. Ooh, the ten of coins. Cap, like you a dumb good out here. You dumb good out here, honey? Listen, you caking it up. That's why this person want to come back into your motherfucking house. Because you keep that cake up. You keep that bake up. And you ain't no fool no more. Capricorn said, I'm not goddamn just walking out on faith on this situation with you. I know good and goddamn well because you the devil and I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And I've already been too fixated and wrapped up in this situation with you. And it's toxic. It is hella toxic. And I'm not going to continue to be trapped and bound in this situation. I don't give a fuck if we got kids or not. Listen, I'm not willing to compromise and negotiate with you with my child or with my sanity and that's why all of this throat chakra shit is up here because capricorn is not playing around not fucking playing around not to wheel of fortune is this the wheel of wheel of fortune i feel like ever since capricorn put their foot down and realized to stop being a fool and detach themselves from this toxic ass goddamn low vibe ass idiot but this person give you I keep like I I, I want to keep 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 stressing to you guys. Whenever I see that community card and the lovers card and all that stuff together, to me that spells herpes, that spells chlamydia, <clears throat> STDs, AIDS, syphilis. Like that's I mean to me, mm -mm, it is not worth it. The five of wands. It is not worth it. Exactly. It is not worth the competition. What are you competing for? You should never have to compete for a man or a woman. What's meant for you is, is meant for you. You shouldn't have to worry, beg, fight, borrow, impress. None of that shit. What? What's, what's meant for you is meant for you. You don't have to do all of that shit. You're not going to compete for nobody. And that's what goddamn Capricorn is like. Like, this shit is stupid. Hella stupid. Alright, that's it. That's it, okay. Act up, you could get snatched up. What is this? Justice. The justice in reverse, so I feel like... Oh, listen. 
Capricorn wants justice for what was done because they feel like justice has not been served. And what goes up comes down. And I feel like there's a lot of imbalance here in regards to this person. Like Capricorn feels like this person just gets away and gets away and gets away and gets away. Which is doing fucked up things to people. And there's no repercussions for it. And like Capricorn is calling on karmic justice here. The two of wands. Yeah. I feel like for a long time that Capricorn was trying to figure out if they should stay or leave in this situation and they definitely know that they need to leave i feel like capricorn might still be living with this person because this is a delayed action move but it's definitely happening it's not something that is it's not something and i see it's how it, it, it I, okay so listen this is it there's not going to be a compromise coming there's not going to be a compromise here capricorn is leaving Okay, because Capricorn does not want to share assets with you anymore, and damn sure does not want to spend another summer in the house together. All right, so no, y'all not going to be extending no leash, y'all are not going to be living with each other by the summer. Y'all are not okay, so no, if y'all do live with each other, no, y'all are not going to be living with each other by the summer. And, and Capricorn is probably communicating that to you. Look. Because what you did wasn't cool. And no, I don't forgive you. And when cut karma come and bust your ass, I don't want to be nowhere around. But Paige, you swore it's here. It's just like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So, it seems like the, the reason why Capricorn delayed moving is because I think that Capricorn wanted to make sure that this person was sneaking around and doing something behind their back before they made a move. And, like, this is a confirmation. Yes, this person is sneaking around. And this person, this person feels like they're going to get away with this. Like, you've been letting them get away with it. So, it's just like, I feel like... This person that Capricorn deals with, they just feel like, they felt like you were going to forever just sit there and in the bed. I'm like, you know what they're doing. You see what they're doing. They've done it before. They're going to do it again. You're going to let them continue to do it again type of thing. I don't think this, this time it's not happening. Like Capricorn, I feel like this time it's affecting Capricorn's health. Like. They're stressed out by this situation. And they're tired of being a fucking fool. And like I said, it's justice in reverse. They want fucking justice for this shit. Because they don't forgive you. And they don't want God to forgive you neither. Like, they really want you to get some negative repercussions. And they, they want to see some justice coming to you for whatever the fuck you've done. Like, they really, really do. Like, they feel like you're a piece of fucking shit. And you deserve karmic justice. Because you're an idiot. And you've done this shit to many people. And... They don't want you to sneak away and get away with doing this shit even fucking more. So, it's like, I can definitely see Capricorn sitting up there praying to God. Like, look, I'm healing. I'm trying to get myself together. But please, God, do not let this person get away with this stuff. Please. Because this person is always getting away with everything. This person don't have to work. This person don't have to take care of themselves. This person is just a fucking bum. And just keep hurting all these innocent people just being a piece of shit. And I don't want this person to be able to do this no more. So I really do feel like Capricorn is calling on this karmic justice. Even though I feel like they're calling on negative justice. <laughs> like Capricorn wants this person fucked up. But, you know, just spiritually, on a spiritual level... On a spiritual level, it's just like they really just want, you know, they really just want to see some karma come to this person because they don't want this person to be able to keep doing this. All oh, pink. Capricorn is in love, okay? They're loving their self. Like, their, their heart is blooming again. Love, caring, and compassion. Right now, only thing that their heart is surrounded by is love. Like, they're focusing on love. I feel like somebody might be a new parent. Or, you know, just, just had a baby not too long ago. Or maybe wants another baby. Or just wants true love. 
They want a loving and healthy environment. They want a love partnership, truly. The healing, the veil, violet, pink, and violet, intuitive, spiritual, self-aware. Right now, okay, so right now, their, their colors that they might be wearing and that they're just feeling in their vibration. Pink, love, caring, compassion, violet, intuitive, spiritual, self-aware. Which is very beautiful energy. Very in beautiful energy. And then I got smoke right here. Visions, all right? You guys might be smoking a lot of ganja tree. Y'all smoke and pass the ganja to me, okay? Y'all might be seeing visions. And the visions that y'all have been seeing is this veil. There's a lot of shit hitting. Like the person that y'all been dealing with is a shaky motherfucker. Mm-mm. I don't like you, bitch. Mm-mm. I don't like your energy. Mm-mm. Give me God that's around in this veil. What does it say? Nourishment. It's just, it's no nourishment in this relationship with this nourishment being in the reverse. It's not a nourish, nourishing environment. It's too much shit hitting. It's not good for your soul. 777. Rapid soul development that comes from challenging times. Do you understand? So right now there's a lot of things hitting to you. Things that are just not nourishing to your soul, that are just being revealed to you. And it is challenging times, but however, you're staying in a high vibration right now. Because you realize dealing with this whole bullshit had you in a very low vibration. You're seeing pinks, violets, you smoking. You realizing that a lot of people got a lot of shit hidden. Alright? You realize that that relationship wasn't nourishing. There's rapid changes going. The nail. What is it saying? Crucify. It's like some is hidden from you, and rapid developments are coming within these challenging times that I feel like is really going to help you nail, hit the nail on the coffin with this one. Because right now, I feel like you don't really have the true answers to crucify this person the way you want to because there's some shit being hidden. But you about to get that goddamn hammer to nail that goddamn. <laughs> The hammer and then the nail. The hammer and then the nail. Force and crucify. You about to get the force and you about to get everything that you need to to do what you need to do in this situation. Earn the nail on the coffin. Oh my God. That is funny as shit, bro. Listen to me. This relationship, this connection was very toxic. There's a lot of hidden shit going on. And I feel like you about to find out very soon. Visions. Visions. You about to see this shit very soon. You about to see everything that's been hit and very soon. That shit is about to be unveiled to you. And I feel like it's going to be a very unnourishing situation. I feel like it's not going to be something that's very nourishing to your soul. It's going to affect you really bad. And you guys know we're going through that Scorpio moon and shit like that. So listen, a lot of y'all going to have to face a lot of shit that you, listen, that you might not want it to face. But it's time to transition and change. It's really time to hammer that nail in the coffin. And just like right now, you just don't have whatever you need to crucify this person for the shit that they've been doing. You feel like it. But you've been given the hammer, the nail, and the coffin. Because... I just feel like otherwise you're going to be dealing with this shit for an eternity. You're going to. And God is sheltering you. God is sheltering you from this person. Because listen, there's something really nasty about this person. There's something really hidden and nasty and dark about this person. And I feel like you don't necessarily really want to go there. And right at the bottom of this deck is this knife. And it says sever. Sever. It's time for you to sever this shit. And then what is this? It says, great, depressed, detached, and unemotional. Yeah. You felt that, but you felt that for too goddamn long. And it's time to sever all of those emotions. And you damn sure don't need to be having no energy like that up in your goddamn house. And that's what this looks like. That's what this looks like. You need to sever this here. Look at this. Gray. You need to sever this. This person that you're dealing with is a snake. It's nasty. And I'm so glad that um K 
Capricorn is stepping their shit up. They're changing their energy. This is where they're vibrating on. Purple and pinks. Beautiful. Beauty. 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 Sitting over there smoking your tree. Having visions. And your vision said, oh no. There's some shit going on with this person that I don't like. There's a fly in the milk. There's a fly in the milk, honey. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Rapid soul developments that come from challenging times. It might not be a nice time right now, but like I said, God is giving you everything you need to put that hammer in that nail and put the nail in the coffin. Go ahead and mourn it and get over it. But at the end of the day, Either you get rid of it now or you were going to be stuck from in a situation for an eternity. God put a shelter over you to help you sever this bullshit. Cut it out. So you can focus on your kids and attract a true love and partnership. And heal. And create a true loving environment that you really, really want and that you really need. So that you can be truly happy. Because we're not doing this no more. And this was in the reverse. Depressed, detached, unemotional. We're not doing this no more. Those days is over. Because we've severed that. And God put an umbrella over us to shield us from that bullshit. Because we're better than that. And we surely deserve something better than that. I grabbed this one first. Did I pull the love deck? Yes, I did. It's clear for my Capricorns. My Capi Capi Capi. Ooh, okay. I'm dropping crystals. Alright. So it's a two of swords. So I feel like there's still like some type of Thoughts still going back and forth in your mind. Because I feel like this person is really putting it on extra thick. Trying to, you know, court you so that you won't cut them out. So they got to take care of themselves by themselves. But you know good and goddamn well that the way that this person lives their life and their beliefs. They always keep multiple bitches around them. And like I said, you are not in the mood to be sitting up in nobody's goddamn health clinic. Trying to get a penicillin shot, bitch. Tower moment. All right. You gonna catch this motherfucker doing some shit again. Again. And you gonna be so enraged this time. Please make sure that you don't end your ass up in jail. Okay? Because you already know how this person lives his life. You already know how this girl lives her life. You already know how this person lives their life. Their belief system is totally different than yours. And this time you ain't even gonna see it coming. Because you're too busy going back and forth, going back and forth because this person is being nice to you and courting you. And yeah, they, it's my manipulation. They still doing the same old shit that they were doing before. Like I told you, veil. Hmm. Hmm. Give me one more spread, one more word of wisdom, and then we about ya. We about ya. Give me some guidance surrounding this parenting, please. Give me guidance surrounding this parenting for Capricorn. Guidance surrounding parenting for Advent. Thank you. Give me guidance. Okay. All right, so we got the Ace of Swords. You know, so you most definitely are clear. You got your crown on. And, you know, you have clarity. You have truth. You know good and damn well. And I feel like a lot of you go in a high priestess. A high priestess, yeah. You have clarity that you got to go about this parenting shit on your own. You already know that this person ain't shit. You know it. That's why you've withdrawn yourself. And you were cleaning up your environment. Focusing on your heart. Communicating exactly what the fuck you stand for. And healing so you can attract a loving partner. You don't give a shit about this person no more. They don't give a shit about themselves. They're a scab. They're a bum. They're a crab in a barrel. You know that. You are better by yourself. And I feel like you're smarter for just walking away and using your sword and knowing how to cut motherfuckers off that you didn't even, like, 
how can I say this? It's like you didn't even know the true fabric of this person. It's like you didn't even know the true fabric of this person to make a sound judgment on this person. I feel like the only way that you really were able to truly see and know for sure who this person really was was for you to kind of like deal with them on this level. But it, it, it did so much for you where you learn how to, yes, here we go. Nine of Wands. You learn how to stand your guard or protect yourself against energies like that now. And not to get pulled down and let someone take you into their energy. Because I feel like this person took you down into their energy. And you you kind of wallowed in the mud with them for attention. And I don't think that you would ever do that anymore. I don't think that you would ever embarrass yourself. Because I feel like you were embarrassed. You would never do that anymore. Like, you're very clear on what you stand for. Knight of Cups. Mm-hmm. A true loving soulmate is coming to you. Like I told you, love and partnership is right there. True love is coming to you, Capricorn. You know why? Because you love yourself. You love yourself, and you're going through your healing. And you woke up, and you said, uh-uh. Let me stop sleeping with the fucking enemy. Capricorn, this has been your reading. I love you guys so much. And for you guys that are still out here dealing and intertwining and engaging with this motherfucker, watch yourself. Because something about to come right on up the fucking pipe that's going to make you say good night, night to this bitch ass motherfucker. And you might not see it coming, but it's going to see you. Okay? So I want y'all to watch y'all back and get rid of dead weight. And people that have this type of energy, this type of lifestyle, honey, that says AIDS, herpes, syphilis, every STD that you could possibly think of. So you can go ahead and keep sharing your body and exchanging fluids like this if you want to. Don't say I didn't warn you. And I told you to go your ass to the doctor. You hear me? This has been your reading. Stop sleeping with the fucking enemy. Go to the doctor.